Hello. Uh, my name is Kazan Adovi. I am Minister Director of uh, Sage Educational Group. Uh, in this video, I would go through the uh, simulation of uh, cell growing in, the micro, in uh, micro channels uh, or microchips. Uh, as you know, console multiphysics can be used in a variety of ways, and one of these ways is simulation of bioreactors. Uh, in this uh, model, we would have some cells that we, they, we would feed them, and uh, we would consider some reactions for the case of uh, consumption of sugars and also pro production of lactic acid. Uh, do not forget to subscribe our channel, and in the case that you need to have like more further training or if you have a specific console uh, problem or simulation uh, you can reach us using this contact information uh, okay for the case of simulation uh, as you know we if you wanted to simulate uh, like uh, cells growing inside a microchip the most important part is considering like the kinetic of uh, reaction it seems uh, this is, there is a type of reaction that is happening inside the cell uh, cells are consuming sugars they are producing waste so we have a feed a stack that is sugar or feed that you are providing for for your cells and it's like lactic acid that is the waste and uh, the product of your reaction kind of. Uh, you have a fluid flow here in your model. So we considered inlet here since uh, when uh, cells are growing, uh, we have a kind of fluid that passing through these channels that we considered here. And these black points are cells. So we define them based on geometry that we define. There are small shapes that we consider them in a, like a rectangle or four. So we consider a constant velocity in the inlet and a constant velocity in the outlet. Uh, for the case of walls, you have like, you should consider no slip uh, uh, boundary condition on walls of, of your uh, microchip or micro channel. Uh, it's an IVRS equation and it's, uh, you can see equations uh, in this part in the inserting uh, window. So you have velocity profile and this velocity profile is going to remove lactic acid that is going to produce by these cells. So in transport of diluted species, you have a mass transfer model of your system. So you have an inflow of, uh, of sugar and uh, your materials, it's mostly sugar, and it's the outlet of your model. And the reaction that is happening inside your model, that is a consumption of uh, uh, sugar and producing lactic acid. So you should uh, consider like transport properties uh, and cover it with, uh, with uh, laminar fellow and considering diffusion coefficient of uh, like elements inside of, of, uh, of your microchip. A chemistry model used for, for this purpose, as you can see, glucose react to, be, to produce uh, lactic acid is the main reaction and you can define the kinetic parameters in this section and also for different components so you use this chemistry model for providing the reaction kinetics for these sections uh, you, you 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 can De define like properties of different components in each species, species section and then you would have like a more accurate uh, investigation if you wanted to not working based on molar but working on mass reactions so after meshing of your model uh, you would have like the velocity profile inside the microchip the pressure profile lactic acid and whatever that you want that you can like formulate with uh, dependent variables that you calculated already using this simulation good luck uh, but please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, again this is our uh, contact information